ratio and proportion. Let's do example one. We almost do it like fractions. To simplify this, we're looking for a common factor. Common factor here is five. So therefore we divide each number by five, we get four. Ratio three. Here again we look for the highest common factor, which is eight in this case. So divide each number by eight, we get three. 32 divided by 8 is 4. Again, we look for a common factor, so we can divide each number by, so 3 is a common factor. So if we divide each number by 3, we get 2, 4, 15 divided by 3 is 5. Here, part 4, so it's 20, to 100, so we write the same units. Then we can cancel the 2, or first cancel 0, so it's 2 ratio 10. Divide both numbers by 2, so we get 1 ratio 5. Change the same units first, so 1 kilogram is equal to 1000 grams. Now we can see this is 4 times bigger than this, so this ratio is 1 to 4. So 20 to 400, same units, get rid of the zero, so it's 2 to 40. Then we divide each number by 2, we get 1 to 20. Let's do example 2. In this case, what we do, divide both numbers by the first number. So, so we're dividing both numbers by 9, so we have 1. 45 divided by 9 is 5. Here we're going to divide both numbers by 10. So we got 1. 35 divided by 10 is 3.5. Here we're going to divide both numbers by 20, but we can simplify a little bit, just cancel the zero first, there's 2 ratio, 30, now divide both numbers by 2, get 1 ratio 15. And let's do example 3. Now if you're using a non-calculator method, so we just... 12 cakes, we need 250 grams. So if you make another 12, so we need 250 more. And then for 6, we would need half of it, which is 125 grams. So if we add, so we get 30 cakes equal to Add all these numbers, 5, 10, 12, carry 1, it's 2, 4, 5 plus 1, that's 6. So that's 625 grams. If you're using a calculator, then you call this a unitary method. So we say 12 cakes equal to 250 grams, one cake, so divide both sides by 12, then to get 30 cakes, then you multiply both sides by 30, then you just use the calculator and you will get the answer to 625 grams. And do this exercise yourself when you've done it, then check the answers. Here are the answers.
Question 3. Four teachers, 20 children. So ratio is 1 to 5. And for 35 children, you would divide this number by this 5. So you get 7 teachers. It's just like this. One teacher, five children. If we have 35 children, what are we doing from there to there? We're multiplying by 7 to get this. So the same thing we have to do here. So you will get 7. 